This is a quick tip for your downloads folder. So um, chances are you keep your downloads folder down here in your dock and it has to go on the right side of your dock next to the trash can to the right of this far right line. Um, if you don't have your downloads folder down there, if I simply click on my desktop and go to go and go to downloads, to open up that downloads folder. If I click once on the name, it shows me the folder icon. I can drag my folder back down here um, if I needed to add it to that doc. But the other thing you can do is if you right click on that downloads folder, you get a bunch of different options on how that information is organized. So by default, when I just click on it, it only shows me some of the things that are in here, but it doesn't show me everything. I could click all of the things at the top uh, to view everything that's in there in a folder. But if I right click on it, I could tell it to show uh, the things that were, or organize the things that are in there by the date they were added. So if I do that, uh, which is what I prefer to do, it will only show or shows the things that were added most recently will be right here at the bottom. So this is the file that was most recently added and then it goes back in time from there. So if I just downloaded something recently, it'll be right here above the button when I click on it, which makes it easier to find. I can also choose to control how that content's viewable. So right now it's a fan, which just means it gives you this little fan out view of the information that's in there. But if I right click and I could also make that a grid where it shows up in a grid view, I could have it show up in a list view, which looks like this, or automatically figure it out based on how many things are in there. If there's only a few, it'll be a fan. If you have uh, somewhere beyond that, it becomes a grid. And then after a certain amount, it becomes a list. So those are just a couple ways to help organize your downloads folder.